the empty room by Water D. Chapter 21. No, really, this is the next chapter. Honest. I know what you guys are thinking. There's no way this could be the next chapter. But it is. Gray skies hung over Canterlot as the dying light cast a deathly power over the whole of the city. The brave pony stood in stunned silent, mulling over the recent accomplishment. They had killed an alicorn in combat. Well, I must say, that was far easier than I expected. Ready to confess for a moment. This certainly bodes well for the upcoming fights. Misty gave her a look. Are we really going to fight the other alicorns? Is there a safer way to deal with this? Maybe if we go straight for the Guardian, we could take them all down in one go. Uh, they're not that tough. A voice broke in. The group turned to look in total surprise at a battered Rainbow Jazz, who had been spoken for the small cart being pulled by Trixie. Verity frowned. Well, I don't know how well you did, Rainbow Dot. We lost one of our own. Applejack interrupted. I went heartless like that so easily. Yeah, and it was total BS! Gilda shouted. I had that bitch! Gilda! Twilight growled. You're supposed to be dead! You can't just start screaming! Oh, stuff it, little Miss Horn and Wings! Gilda retorted. At least I didn't arrive six hours late. And I'll have you know that alicorns are perfectly legal PCs! Twilight snapped, slamming her hoof on the table so hard it sent Cheese Puff as a dice flying. They had a level adjustment of three! Well, duh! That's why you had to sleep it off and be dead while we all leveled up. Das rolled her eyes. I talk about projecting. Suddenly you're S Princess Celestia's daughter? Twice shook her head. Oh yeah? How about you, Captain of the former Wonderbolts? So he proceeded to back down the little figurines of Soren, Misty, Spitfire, Blast, and whoever that first one to die was. <laughs> hey! Rima Daz blushed as he carefully lined them up again. Don't ruin the paint job. It took me hours just to get them straight. Lyra sat down on a table, or horn a light as he levitated a soft drink. <sighs> what? Is it over already? Did I get resurrected yet? The only thing that's happened is that Rainbow Gilda started acting up, and it's why I fall suit. Elps that groaned. Oh. Lyra sighed. I guess I don't get to make up with Bon Bon yet. Eltex side. <sighs> Spike of the lights, you two's a real get room. The great in power. <laughs> Tracy gasped as Big Mac bit her ear, flushing as he squirmed, cuddling him closer to his side. Blake Magatos! Eltex snapped. Haven't I told you not to get so personal with Trixie in front of others? Big Mac gave her a look. Yup. Eltex raised an eyebrow. You don't care, do ya? Nope. Eltex simply leaned her face on the table. This is why I told y'all we should fight either Trixie or Big Mike, not both of them. Well, if we are not going to do anything, I have to check on Sweetie Bell. Rarity stayed. Very punch is a dear, but I'm still not very comfortable leaving her in charge of my little sister, and... No! You can't leave yet! Piggy interrupted. He and Sakura will have to still our do our part. Other than trading little notes with the DM, Raymond Dash growled. What the hell have you been doing all this time? It's a secret, Vicky sang, bouncing around the table, and barely dodging Gilda's half-assed attempt at tripping her. Hey, Dess, let's leave the twerps and go make out. I really have some cool ideas that'll make our night 20% hotter than this label game of yours. Um, shouldn't we, you know, wait a bit? Flesh I asked, trying to ignore Trixie's hoof as the young Elizabeth tried to pull her. I mean, if you want, it's just when I went to the restroom and she won't be happy if we leave. What is Luna doing in there anyway? Lyra asked. No pony takes that long in there. No pony. Why we see Pius out? She was drinking a lot sadder. Applejack looked at the door and the back of the library with a little worry. And you saw how Spack was completely not that. Ready to look at the unconscious dragon. Oh, poor Spikey. Although that does explain why he suddenly disappeared from the game. 
Aha! Twilight suddenly shouted, her horror magic shoving a book in between Gilda and Rainbow Dash. She brought it up to the Griffin's face. See? Alicorns. Perfectly good PCs. That's total BS and you know it. You just want to be a princess. Gilda rolled her eyes, pushing the book down with her claw. What? Wasn't Cadence marrying your freaking brother enough? Now you want to be a princess too? That has nothing to do with it. Twilight snapped the book closed. I'm just showing you that I made a perfectly valid character that added a lot of storytelling to the story despite your whining of how cliche it was. Your origin story was weak at best and you know it sparkles. Gilda shook her head. It's so full of holes I can fly in and out of it twice the speed of sound without encountering any sort of resistance along the way. Oh, get off my case. As if your little act about how sorry you were and how much you love Rainbow Dash wasn't protecting yourself even more. At least I'm playing myself, dork! Well, so am I. Dude, you turned your father into Darth Pony. That's not how your life really is, Gilda retorted. He was being controlled! I explained it in the backstory! You know what? On second thought, I believe you, Gilda said, nodding. Twilight point, you? You do? Yes, Gilda sighed. The only way a story like yours would ever be considered is if you were Luna's niece or something, because she wouldn't accept so much BS from anybody else. Have you all ready? Luna sang, the sound of a fuzzy toilet announcing her return. Twilight grimaced. L Princess, should you be wearing that? Luna's eyes went up to her aluminum foil replica of her Nightmare Moon helmet. Let a course, Twilight. What else would I use to remind you all who you are dealing with? Luna, do we really have to fight all the alicorns? Rainbow Dash asked. It's getting late, and really, they're kind of lame. They are perfectly good characters, Luna said. Why, I remember what I really, really used to do that trick with the wave. <laughs> Rainbow Dash went away. They're lame, that's all I have to say. What, you didn't have enough throwing at us with a huge fertility creature? Hey. Be careful she didn't throw a Tarisk at the middle, Twilight sighed. We would need a very specific items and spells to stop that and... Don't give her ideas, Sparkle! Gilda sighed, throwing a D12 at Twilight's forehead. Bounced off the tip of her horn before flashing and disappearing. Hey! That's my lucky D12! Lyra sighed. Meh, you don't need it. You're dead! Gilda gave Lyra a raspberry. Well, so are you. Hey, my death was cool, Gilda proclaimed. I died fighting a freaking alicorn. What your girlfriend pointed out was lame. Well, it was still awesome. Well, you would have died anyway, I pointed out. I was surprised that some pony paid attention. She glared at Trixie, who placed her cape over herself, Big Mac, and Fluttershy. The cape shook, and both mares giggled. How did those three end up together again? Applesack, Randy asked Applesack. Who groaned without lifting her head at the table. Blink Mark has a thing for straw ice, the apple farmer said, to the irritation of those that insist her name should be used constantly. I am first time Blink Mac have been an item on, on and off throughout the years. Thus, she's a pervert. Hey, Trixie! Rainbow Dash hollered. Pay attention! We just want to do a huge garden with a gazebo! Ooh. <laughs> Trixie giggled and poked her head from out under the key. Trixie, ah! Uh, attacks it! The gazebo. Y yes. Rainbow Dash rolled her eyes. Okay, Lyra has a point. If Trixie hadn't half assed that die roll, she probably would still be alive. See what I mean? Lyra slammed her hoof on the table. I demand to be resurrected! Or at least make it so they thought I was dead, but I wasn't. No, Luna said. The incompetence of your teammates is no excuse to reset the whole game. Besides, we're almost done anyway. There's two more alicorns and the Guardian, and we're good. Why is it called the Guardian anyway? Lyra asked. Did you even think about it when you named him? Are we ready to start again? Luna growled, ignoring Lyra. I want to get it over with before I have to put down the downed moon. Fine, fine. Gilda signed a real kind, watching with mild interest as the surviving ponies gathered around the table. Where are we? Luna asked. We have just killed Winter, and I think it was Twilight's turn, Verity said. Okay then, 
Luna nod. Twilight. You and Fletcher Spock. What? Is he still alive? Rainbow Dash asked. That clone has more lives than a cat. Twilight frowned. She was never in any danger of dying. Well, I did almost kill her. And I would have if Abutakia hadn't decided her tormentor was a good pony. That was a good dub. I just did what I thought would have done in real life. Sure, and you don't have a secret crest in Twilight. Remember, Dad's rolled her eyes. Oh, come on, she does it. Larry interrupted. Stop shifting ponies around, Rainbow Dash. Shipping. It's when, um, a pony creates a relationship between characters. Her side explained quietly. Plug your head for Trixie's key. It's a fanfic expression. Fun what now? Lyra Luna shook her head. Lila, you write stories? Lyra blessed a little. A little. A little. Haven't you shown the others that huge pile of my little human fanfics you've written? <laughs> Lyra corrents. Well, you don't like them. Besides, Rainbow Dash is co-writing my crossover with Daring Dew. A crossover between Daring Dew and my little human? Twilight asked, shake your head. You ponies have way too much time. Hey, I do not! Well, excuse us for not writing a weekly friendship report to Mom! Celestia's not my mom! Twilight shied. Why not, could you please tell them we're not blood-related? Luna stared at Twilight for a whole minute, then looked down at the table. Sit. You and the others are walking down the street when... Kickings! Thinky shouted, saying a whole train in the middle of the table. Hey! Luna said, panicking. What's the mops? I spent all of last week making them. Applejack frowned. Weren't you rewriting the tax laws and fixing them for falls? Ah. Oh. Luna chuckled weakly. <laughs> yeah, not to you. Anyway. Twilight sighed. It turned to look to Fluttershy. Fluttershy, we should be going to the castle in. Fluttershy, are you paying attention? Fluttershy looked up from under the cape. Slowly extracted herself from under it and moved to the table. Flipping for the packing scene. Does he notice Twilight was guarding her? Oh, sorry, Twilight. Were we role playing again? What are you reading? Twice Bell snatched the magazine from the almost protesting Flyer's Eyes gasp. Seriously? Iron Will's self help diet? Twice shook her head. Flyer's Eye. You should know by now that he. Huh. I didn't know that Bora Bora was good for that. A horn showed again. The supernatural swallowed up the land next to her. She so flipped the pieces quickly. It is! Well, I will does do his research. Oh, yes. First I nodded. His studies have been very popular lately. He has different ones for each species that reads his articles. My, I never thought that Big Brute would ever be able to set his own name, much less write an article. As he said, looking over Twilight's shoulder, I must say that salad recipe looks delightful. Exactly what a sexy salsa needs in her diet. Um, there you that's your character in the game. You're not really an assassin, Rainbow Dash pointed out. Rarity stared at Rainbow Dash for a minute, before she looked down at the article again. Oh my, berries and nuts, he looks delicious. Ladies, if we could please carry on with the game, Luna sighed. Come on, girls. I'm sure I could write a nice friendship report about role-playing to mo I mean, Princess Celestia. She's really into it, Gildan laughed. <laughs> Next thing we know, Rarity will really think she's an assassin. She parted to laugh and stopped as two feathers she had styled on top of her face, Benny slowly drifted down to front of her, splitting in half the moment they touched the table. Her eyes slowly looked up at Rarity, who was holding a small diamond in her hoof, nonchalantly ignoring her. The Griffin Colt. Tracy giggled. Darn it, Blake Mac, what you so stop doing night? Eltex snapped. Throwing an empty bag of apple chips at the couple. There are other Myers here, and we don't want to know what you... She stopped when she fell off on her shoulder. She looked at Flare's eye. It was blessing but shaking her head. We don't mind, Flare's eye said. Well, I said, we don't mind. The pink mane pink just cleared her teeth as he glared at Applejack. Uh, old Collie Lion. This is quickly spiraling out of control, Twilight said. Well, thanks for pointing out the obvious, Mrs. Sparkle, Lyra said, when you got up for her chair. What was your first clue? Pinkie Pie walking upside down on the ceiling? Twilight looked up for a second, before looking back at Lyra. No, she does that relatively often. I see, Lyra sighed. Eek, 
Lyra! Vicky stared from the ceiling. Look, no hates. I know. Plinky, cut down from there. Your part in the cause is almost upon us, Luna said. Why did Sakura come again? Rainbow Dash asked. I thought she was all gone for tonight's game. She picked up a couple of papers. I mean, she even filled out her character sheet and all. Luna rolled her eyes. How should I know? She says she suddenly had an emergency. You must know, Rainbow Dash insisted. You're a goddess! Luna's eyes clouded. Someone else. Quick! Summon the swords! The pink pony ranger shouted. The five ponies suddenly stepped in line, balancing on their hind legs, and produced a sequence of exaggerated health moves and kicks before landing in different positions. Five giant robotic animals leaped from the recesses of the jungle, splitting into pieces before rearranging themselves into a pony-like robot with three heads. It tried to fight the enemy dragon mutant, but was soon overwhelmed. What are we gonna do? The red pony ranger shouted in horror. Our swords can't take it down! Fear not, my red red friend. A powerful female voice echoed around them. For I am here to take out that fiend. It's the red pony ranger! The yellow pony ra ranger shouted gleefully. She's so cruel with her lives. Another pony ranger, riding top of a giant mechanical, ephemorphic zebra, with two wicked blades that's half as big as its own body, emerged from the ground. Standing violently st next to the defeat, almost defeated Zord. Let's do it! The Black Ranger shouted. The battle was joined once more. I rather not know. Luna stated firmly. Now, if it's funny, ah, Griffin, take your seats. It's time to continue. There was a little bit of grumbling, but eventually all players were sitting at the table. Even Big Mac or Trixie. Alright, let's speak this fast and we can all go home, Luna said. Twilight. I'll see you when the others walk down Catalot, another of the Alicorns appear. When I ignored the crumbs that the Alicorns appearance produced, a piercing blue eyes nail you to the spot as a voice booms out. I am Summer. Let all those who tell me step forward. Twilight sighed. I guess we don't have much of a choice, do we? Who is in my party again? Um, me? Twilight I said. In Twilight Spark. In Big Mac. Good. Twilight said. This should be okay. So he took a deep breath. I used my magic... Nuh-uh. Gilda grinned. Sorry, Miss Alcorn, but I feel to remind you you're a pegasus now. Oh, horse apples! Twice spent her face on the table. Being a pegasus sucks. Hey! Dash growled. You take that back! Yeah! You take that back! The pegasus are pretty cool. Seriously, though, what can you do other than fly and walk on clouds? We can create tornadoes, Rainbow Dash said. Twilight rolled her eyes. What? With the help of all the Pegasi in Ponyville? I mean, what can you do to fight? Well, I could create a Sonic Green Boom and punch my way through an alicorn, Rainbow Dash argued. Well, I can't. That's because you're lame as a Pegasus. Rainbow Dash air rotten. Just because you suck doesn't mean real Pegasi do. <sighs> Fine, Twilight growled. She looked at Luna. Well, Spark will use your Thunderbolt on Summer, while I kick us some rain or something. And I'll soon you'll buckle like a tree when I ask Big Mac. Not. Yep. I I think I'll stand back and watch. Fluttershy went. Oh, come on, Flutters, Lyra groaned. It's a game. Nothing can happen to the real you. It's not like you're going to face the real Summer anytime soon, right? Fluttershy meet and head under the table. Luna, Rainbow Dash, Rarity, Applejack, Pinkie Pie, and Twilight shared their comfortable looks. <clears throat> right. Twilight coughed. Anyway, Luna nodded. Okay, every pony rolled into the event. Here it goes! Pinkie Pie erupted. I need to compile a video of the game so far. Let's watch it! Luna's eyes widened when she persisted to notice the camera set up in the library. Pop! How? When? She felt a hoof on her and looked at Twilight. She shook her head. It's not worth it, Luna. A screen dropped to the far wall, and the lights dimmed. A light flickered. It's not like they were looking at themselves. Luna was standing on her hind hooves, leaning forward as the eye Trixie evilly. Yes, the voice said, once again whispering in her ear, sending Sarah's down her spine. I will teach you. No. Luna whispered dramatically. Trixie, 
He turned around and looked up and up. Luna said, eyes glistening. You look up until you could see the face of the guardian. You stared at it. And then, with a quick move, giant saws descend upon you. Luna slammed her hoof down, making Trixie jump in her seat. The screams slowly die away into a mist stunkle, with nobody at all to hear the crunch of your bones. What? Tracy took to her seat. That's all the horse apples! The great and powerful dirty can't die first thing into the game. It's unfair. Luna stared at her and then smiled. The guardian proceeds to belt smilingly, before continuing to tear into your body. But but the death! Oh, come on! Tracy whined. You wanted that map? Rainbow Dash chuckled. Luna did say it would come with a price. Ha! You got killed 10 minutes into the game, Gilda laughed. Now that's lame. Tracy glared at her. Tracy would like to remind me of overblown chicken, that she was killed by the main bad guy and not a grunt. Want a piece of me, Trix? Any time! Girls! Piggy suddenly slid between them. You're missing Lexing. Luna looked at Trixie. Trixie, I'll see you all walking post this point field. You know it's a fall nearby. You don't remember your way that well, since your skill check failed. There appears to be an old man sitting on a post. So he notices it's your wagon. Turks! He casts a spell using flaming magical power from her cart. The spell at which way to Ponyville? Trixie replied. Luna nodded with a small smile. The fiery words appear in the air in front of the old man. She stares in horror as the flames sprout out of nowhere and asks her for directions. Her hoof goes to her foreleg. It seems like it hurts. She gasps and falls back. She's not breathing. What? Trixie jumped to her feet, glaring at Luna. That's so unfair. Luna gave her a look. Congratulations. You just grabbed Granny Smith with a heart attack. I hope you're happy. But, but, Trixie wise ward. I didn't mean to. I, I grabbed her shoulders and she her like, There must be a mistake. Hey, Granny, you are okay. You passed out. Luna rolled her eyes. But made a credible impersonation of Grace Smith's voice. What? What? I, I'm okay. I had a strange nightmare of a stage lag and the spoken words made on fire to me. I thought I was going to have a heart attack. She paused. You also noticed that she has left her body behind. Tracy glared at Luna. Seriously, she's a ghost now. How many ghosts are getting here? Luna looked back at Trixie. She's waiting for an ox. You, you did? Ah. <laughs> I don't remember that. Applejack shook her head. For slime, Trixie. Killing your soon to be Apple family members. Tracy growled, but Flair sized calling Huff on her shoulder. I'll to relax a little. She so raspberry Applejack and called up between Flair Sai and Big Mac. This has to be done. And there was a different way. He said in a disgustingly soothing tone, Luna narrated dramatically. You know who it is, Twilight. I. I stuck where I am, ready to fight and prepare with my magic. Twilight replied. When he sees your horn start to glow with magic, he also stops as his own horn lights affinity. Saluna so said, Now Twilight, roll the sound she check. Whoa, who is this guy? Rainbow Dash Dash. Her eyes in the small figurines. Is he's kinda cool? Can you really drive Twilight mad with his presence alone? Let me see. Luna shook the dice in the air with her magic before releasing them over the table. 43%! I pass. Bummer. Lara grumbled. I would have liked to see Twilight go batshit crazy. Bring Celestia to my chambers and that kind of stuff. I would never say that, but m Princess Celestia! Luna cleared her throat. Ahem. <clears throat> Twilight. Any nice words? Twilight sighed as she turned her attention to the table. There's only one thing I could say before I unleash my magic to protect not only myself, but my mentor's secret. Daddy, why? What? Rainbow Dash interrupted. That's, come on, that's lame. Seriously, I thought Twilight's dad was cool. Hey, he's a very nice guy, Twilight defended. That doesn't make him cool. Don't say it, Rainbow Dash shouted, trying not to laugh and keep a serious face. She's gone, Rainbow Dash. Luna said, looking at the paces. No! Don't say that! Twilight Sparkle can't be dead! Rainbow Dash shouted before she burst into laughter. Hey, it's a serious scene! Twilight complained, and I just died! A gasp made them look to the purple dragon. Dad just walked into the room with a bag of Cheetos. It's not true! He said, writing the whole Luna's hoofs. It's not true! <laughs> You're joking! 
Luna rolled her eyes. Yes, she's dead. She's fought to your last attack and got killed by her daddy. Spike gasped. <gasps> well, that sucks. Twice slammed her face on the table. Tell me about it. Now I have to make a new character. Hmm, I have some ideas for that, Luna said. Why don't you come with me? We have to talk for a bit. Well, what did Luna tell you? Lara asked, curious. Well, she told me that I could make an evil clone of myself as a character, since she already had Twilight Spark as a possible NPC. The only requirement was that I had to chase Applejack's tail. And that was pretty annoying. Oh, you like it and you know it, Rainbow Dash teased, poking Applejack in the ribs. Who was telling me just the other night that Twilight had one hell of a pl- <laughs> Applejack chuckled nervously. Give me your host steady on Rainbow's mouth. I so go to Contalot then. Can you put me in the right direction, handsome? Tracy leans seductively into Big Mac's shoulder and almost purr. Oh, it's that way. He stammered through his blush, trying to stay in character. Thank you. Tracy gave him a peck. Oh, Big Mac looked at Luna. Oh, I fall tricks. Big surprise there. Luna rolled her eyes. But, but it can't be you, Rainbow Dash stammered. You died! I got better. So I entered, leaning up on the Pegasus and whispering in her ear. Much better. Rima Dash visibly shivered as her ear twitched from the feel of her friend's breath on it, as much as the feeling of Twilight's coat against hers. Twilight Spark. Celestia says then, looking now just rightly, Does you have something to tell your friends? Luna's voice was eerily similar to when she had been Nightmare Moon. Spark, but Sparkle is okay. Twilight interrupted, smirking from across the table. For a filly, but I'm a full-grown mare now. <laughs> As you can see, a better name seemed appropriate. Applejack shook her head slowly. Sugar Cube, you could call yourself Twilight Pastel for all I care. It's good to have you back. She nodded at Twilight, then looked at Luna. I'll give her a hug. I lick her neck. Twilight giggled. Twilight! Oh man, that was awesome. <laughs> Look on your face, Applejack. You know what? You're lucky in my book, Sparkles. Twilight chuckled. <laughs> Thanks, I think. Oh, you know, basic anatomy, pleasure playing thrustles, puff pony and conditioning. The unicorn spirit applies at Applejack. Oh, do you think I broke her? I haven't even started. She said jokingly. Listening to a snoring laugh from Rainbow Dash and Spitfire, Applejack visibly shivered as she looked at Twilight, then struggled to stay in character as she looked at Rainbow Dash. Wow, what, what's up, Applejack? Dragon cut your tongue? Rainbow Dash asked, grinning like an idiot. Bet you never thought I would betray you, huh? Damn it, Rainbow Dash. You explained this to me right now! Applejack threw a die at the Pegasus, who dodged it. No kid do! Does it master's orders? Rainbow Dash laughed. The whole thing with the medallions got a bit convoluted. Lyra groaned. Was it really necessary? It wasn't that hard to follow, Toy said. Although, I guess how some ponies don't care much for storytelling and want everything told them straight out. Not me, Rainbow Dash laughed. That's why I love Daring Do. I can't never wait to see the ending and figure out all the clues that were there. You're a naked now, remember, R.D.? Gilda teased. I thought you'd feed me a bedtime story. Maybe. Rainbow Dash grinned. The gods are approaching Lyra, Luna said. What are you going to do? Stretching across the table, Lyra grabbed Big Mac. Quick, kiss me! Tracy and Flyer side looked at each other. Shrugged and pushed the big Mac back of Big Mac's head suddenly. Eyes went light as his lips slanted to Lyra. The whole table burst into laughter as both points quickly scrambled back. Gah! Lara spat, you taste like apples! Well, does you serve your children to my mouth? Big Mac asked, losing his calm composure for once. I. Lara was interrupted by Luna rolling the dice. Uh oh, Lara, am I going to like this? She smiled as you look around, trying to figure out the gods are gone. You notice another female pony looking in your direction with a look of disgust, hurt, and betrayal. Great, Lara sighed, following the character. Listen, Octi, what? Luna shook her head. It's Bonbon. Lyra blinked. I'm supposed to be dating her, but 
She's just my friend. Whatever. You'll love us in this story, and you want her to have your baby. Luna growled. But we're both mares. You want her to have your baby. Now roll play! Her sighed. Fine, um, Bon Bon! No! I can't explain! So, you're not dating Bon Bon? Pinkie Pie asked. Um, no. Uh, their ears are gonna be pissed! Pinkie giggled. Oh, please. This is like the second story I've read where Bon Bon and Lyra are not a couple. I really gotta get back to re rereading Harrier Problem. The so, what are you talking about? Don't, Twilight said, sucking her head. She's just being Pinkie Pie. Lyra rolled her eyes. Anyway, Luna interrupted, her horn glowing. What's interesting is that it's Pinkie. We should get back to playing. Oh, but I wanted more scenes to be made fun of for April Fool's Day, Pinkie pouted. A play of what? Luna asked. Then shook her head. What's the matter? Let's play. Twilight, Fenshai, Big Mac, and Alicorn stands before you. You quickly remember her name. Summer. She has not attacked, but is observing you in a way that makes you all nervous. Twilight's horn lit up as her eyes levitated. Well then, how about we continue with the story? The group cheered as they settled down around the table, watching, listening intently, as the next step of their adventure continued. Slowly the scene darkened until everything disappeared. <laughs> Happy April Fool's Day! Pinky suddenly shouts, appearing from the right corner of the screen. Hope you all liked it! It might not be the end of the story, but look at the bright side. If Wander and Tina had been so lazy, you might have had this little look into what was happening behind the scenes. She smiles and nods. Well, I got to go. My big return is coming. Bye now! See you! Soon I hope. Um, guys, I want to apologize. Um, this is one of my favorite chapters of the whole fic, and one of the things that tends to make me smile, and I couldn't figure out where to put it. I felt like if I put it at the end of the fic, it wouldn't have had the same effect as if you had seen it, you know, reading. And I figured that the best way to do this would put this in place at the 21, just like it happened in real life. I figured you guys would all get maybe a little kick out of it. Don't worry, the next two parts are coming Monday. Well, we will finish this, but I figure you guys might like a good laugh and smile a little. Well, see you soon.